Welcome to this tutorial on speeding up Simulink. If you've ever felt frustrated by slow initialization or compilation times in Simulink, or found running hundreds or thousands of simulations too time-consuming, you're in the right place. Here, you'll find practical tips to improve Simulink performance and overcome these challenges. In this tutorial, we'll explore 10 effective methods to speed up Simulink simulations. We'll start by covering Simulink cache files, fast restart, accelerator mode, and incremental build. Techniques that utilize compiled artifacts to enhance simulation speed. Next, we'll demonstrate how to leverage your computing infrastructure with parallel build for model references and parallel simulation using multiple CPU cores. Finally, we'll dive into identifying performance bottlenecks, adopting best practices for Simulink usage, optimizing modeling fidelity, and upgrading MATLAB. These strategies focus on refining your models to achieve superior performance. Let's get started with Simulink cache files. Simulink cache files contain build artifacts that can speed up simulation and code generation. The cache files contain artifacts from the build that can reduce the time required for successive model simulation and code generation. These files have an SLXC file extension. Team members can generate and share Simulink cache files to reduce the time it takes when we build those models for the first time. When we generate code from a Simulink model hierarchy, each referenced model has an associated Simulink cache file. Let's use an example to demonstrate how the Simulink cache files help speeding up simulations. First, we run a Simulink model without any generated cache files. When updating the Simulink diagram for a model hierarchy that contains model reference, the cache files will be generated. Here shows the initialization time, execution time, and the total time that's spent in the simulation without cache files. Next, we run the Simulink model with the generated cache files from the previous run. Here shows the initialization time, execution time, and the total time that's spent in the simulation with cache files. As observed, the initialization time has been significantly reduced. This chart summarizes the simulation time for simulations without cache files and with cache files. We can see the initialization time in this case has been reduced half. However, the execution time remains the same. Okay, is there a way to reduce the initialization time even more? Please stay tuned for the next session.